Anthony Burchett puts his 11-1 record on the line as he fights Ian Entwistle. Ian Enty and Whistle for Burchek in Burchek's home in Phoenix. Burchek was definitely touted as the next big bantamweight in the UFC. And then he went out there and did something special like Ian does. Ryan out of Burchek, Ireland, by way of Accrington, England, Ian spam the first time I rushed it a little bit and he wasn't prepared to tap I heard I heard his knee click a couple of times so I, as he went to stand up I readjusted took the heel again let him roll until he hit the cage took my time and finished the heel I finished him in about one minute three seconds Picked up the 50 grand submission bonus. Uh, it was a really nice feeling. I'm here with the winner, Ian Edwistle. That is your favorite technique. What's going on? I can't believe I'm talking to Joe Rogan in the UFC. That is cool. Well, I can't believe I'm talking to you. So Enti's kind of taken his money and decided he definitely needs to have some fun in Thailand, but definitely wants to maintain his training and dedicated lifestyle. He spent it on a nice pad, four floors with a nice rooftop view. Pool. It's just a place where you can train, hang out, relax. It's just one of the perks of fighting for the UFC. It just takes one fight, it can change your life. Hey, I'm Ian Epso. Um, welcome to my crib. This is the place I got for when I'm in Thailand to help me chill out and relax. Here's my kitchen. Here's my, here's my favorite bit of the kitchen. So I'm too lazy to open a fridge. Just push that. A lot of water. And one of the smart TVs so we can sit here and just chill and watch all the UFC fights. I'm going to uh, take you outside now and show you the pool area. Here we've got one FC fighter, Rob Lucita, Chris Fishgold, and my girlfriend Kay. It's cool to have a place like this. When I first came to Thailand, there was a, a little bedroom, not much money to eat, and just a kid chasing a dream, really. So when I come back this time, after I got the bonus, I thought, why not enjoy myself and splash out? Here we have the bedroom where me and Kay stayed. Cool after I finish training, sometimes we play with eyes when I'm sore, just chilling here. Another little lounge room here. Uh, got a TV there for Katie because I'm constantly downstairs watching fighting. Here we have one of the balconies. I'm Robert, we'll see ya. We can play with the big. To be honest, we don't really need that many bedrooms, but. Yeah. where um, my friend Chris Fishgold sleeps. He's got his own house in Thailand, but he gets lonely, so he turns up crashing here most nights. Most things has been like to a bath, so it's really cool to find a house with one. And up here, we've put some mats over there, so whenever we want to train, you know, we think we can train here as well. I'm always watching TV downstairs and thinking of new heel hooks in my head. Me and Chris Fishgold or Robert Lasita, even Katie if I've got no one else to go over. The original style I learned was catch wrestling. From there, I was shown, you know, three, four different entries of heel hooks. I started evolving them and, and seeing how to make my own heel hooks, and pretty much I've made a lot of the heel looks up I do just, just in my mind. And I call my style of fighting like jitsu. It's just something that I've come up with because it's not jiu-jitsu, it's not catch wrestling. I kind of use a lot of jiu-jitsu on the legs and use elevators where people don't use them at the moment. And that, that's why we call it leg jitsu. What is your daily training? Uh, <laughs> better to don't know. <laughs> I'm not a good example for fighter. Birds are this quiet. Fox is in the Yeah, I fight a lot now and uh, I'm tired to training. I just come sometime and make a little bit sparring. Now when I think about fighting, I just go for a short fight, you know. 
I don't want fight for three, three times five minutes, something like this. You know, I just go for quick submission or knockout. So I don't want training crazy and. <laughs> So we've got a big event coming up pretty soon, Pro FC in Taiwan, Taipei. We have four guys competing. Moise Rimbon competing against a tough Korean fighter. Moise, time and time again, proves that he's the best middleweight in Asia, if not one of the best in the world, top 50 ranked. A lot of guys turn down his fights, don't want to fight him. So he's just going to go out there and prove once again that he's one of the best fighters in the business. We've got Luke Jumeau competing against a tough Japanese fighter. He's potentially one fight away from the UFC. He's got a big future. You know, Luke's one of those guys that grinds hard. He trains with us, then he goes home, works full time, feeds his kid, books a fight, comes to us again. So we hope that we can get him a good contract sometime very soon. We've got Gokan Turkumaz competing, and then we've got Chris Fishgold competing against one of the top Korean fighters. Chris Fishgold, undefeated, very, very tough fighter. We're looking for him to do a couple of good things from a two-year layoff. We've got a stacked gym at the moment. There's a lot of guys in the pro room. Vaughn Lee's come in for a UFC fight. Ian Enti's here. Thiago Tavares training for UFC fight. Marek Gregorian, K1 uh, champion. The gym is full of beasts.
提莫啊，拳头是朝下的，另外一个美国手。Voice Swamp Rimba representing New Zealand from Auckland, fighting out of Phuket, Luke the Jedi. 他的这个 Choke 是一个马尾的终结者，纽西兰选手叫 Look 的，我觉得他对自己的期许是，看看他两位啊，今天本他也曾经到过大陆。哎呦哇，这个后腿拳，中国这个日本人有点撑不住，是西西啊，上去了。